For this video, I've built a paint booth. We light some incense sticks, open packages, shake some paint and paint stuff. Hello and welcome back, my friends. It's been a while and that's for a good reason. There were a lot of things to do to actually film this episode and we will shortly find out why. Look at this. It is a no-brainer that we have to replace the rims and the spokes. So I started doing that. I brought the big guns to the table. And as you see, <laughs> I had to cut the spokes because I didn't want to use the angle grinder and took them all off. Yeah, and here it is, the wheel hub in its fullest. I have to find all the parts, spokes, they flew around, but uh, it's obvious that we have to paint that hub. Well, actually I didn't plan to replace the steering head bearing, but um, I wanted to paint the lower part of the steering holder. I don't know how that's called otherwise. Couldn't find any translation, but still. I chiseled it off after looking at the manual. I tried with the red screwdriver first, but that brought me nowhere. And um, the manual said, you gotta take a chisel and chisel that thing off. It took some force for me to do that and I was really scared to break anything because I actually wanted to reuse the bearing, but ha, laugh is on me. There is no way you will reuse that bearing with the spacer at the bottom. So well, after I took that off, I saw, uh, well, the damage of it. It's the, I, I even don't understand why this part is cast iron and um, the upper one, the one which you see where we took off the lock, uh, the ignition is actually aluminium. So I don't know, but still, it looks quite old, used, I don't know how to say. Then I sandblasted everything in my sandblasting cabinet and now I'm preparing the parts for the first paint. The paint is actually a, a primer, a, a first paint to protect the metal from rust and make the real paint stick very good. I did that with a scrubbing adhesive and that turned out well. It's for that thing, it's the cooler guard. It's very hard to sandblast that because, you know, it's, it's, it has a lot of holes. On the other hand, the lower steering holder did very well. The paint came off relatively good because the surface is so porous and whatnot. It turned out great. So I prepared this and then started to paint this on the well in the garden on the grass of course I hold it in the air to paint it but that wasn't a good solution so I already painted these in black ground how is it called well it's a pre-coat for painting and it looks like this. You pre-coat it that it after, well, I sandblasted this in my sandblasting cabinet and well, for tries, I never painted something myself before. And uh, as I already said, I guess, I contacted several paint shops here and nobody responded or had time to help me out with this. So this is the fender, fender, I don't know how to say it differently. It's a guard for the cooling system, for the cooler. And um, this one is, oh, 
this one is the where the fork sits but the lower one and it was well not coated correctly from Yamaha at the beginning because there was rust everywhere so I went to the garden and actually uh, yeah painted these with the pre-coat in the garden and I well everything takes so long at the moment because I do not know how to actually do all this myself and I had to figure that out because I really want to get on with the project so now I have to paint things myself well that's that's not the problem so I bought myself a paint gun for painting and it has a limiter here as far as I researched you need that one and um, this will go with black matte paint for these just to try out yeah that the next step is to paint these two thingies I also have the problem that I don't know if you see it there um, we have 10 degrees in here and 10 degrees is not enough to um, cure the paint the problem with that is that um, I live in Germany and it's winter so I have an idea how to paint in the winter and actually have good results that the paint can cure and uh, whatnot but more on that later I also went so far and um, sandblasted these so that I can paint them but only after I did them to uh, check what I did good and what not also the biggest thing I want to go on with is this thing here that's the sprocket holder I don't know and it's also been set blasted and it had a lot of corrosion I masked the well the the connection point where the brake disc will go on and yeah this also needs to be painted but only as I said after I know how to do this with that if not um, I already ordered a, a bigger gun but I do not think it's needed because we are not painting a car or big huge stuff yeah so far so good now I will uh, give these a rub with some 800 grit paper or um, how's it called a sponge that has 800 grit I have it somewhere that one is specially made for rubbing this and make it a surface that we can paint on yeah I will do that now and we will see how it will get further how we will get further. So, because I have not found any people who can help me paint my stuff, I made my own paint booth. If you're laughing, that's all right. It just need to do, needed to be quick and dirty because I wrote about five different companies who can help me paint this and nobody wanted to so I needed to get creative and make a paint booth myself. Well, I'm sure people are uh, screaming at the screen right now but I don't know I have no other choice to do it like that. I ordered a ventilator to put behind the filter fleece which is there and um, just to make it absorb all the dust we will see shortly that that is not really working but it's working at least it's enough for me the paint booth is uh, 1 meter 20 by 80 by 80 and I just used plywood and some construction wood to do that it's uh, nothing special it took me a day to build that some three four hours I don't know 
um, the thing is, it was raining here like two weeks in a row, and I I will not <clears throat> cut wood in the garage because every the all the particles go everywhere. So let's test if the airflow works. Can we see the smoke actually? Yeah, we can. So now let's turn on ventilation. Three, two, one. Oh yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah. It flows that direction. So we actually have a winner. Now we can open the promised package from Amazon. I bought some things here for covering holes and whatever that is. I guess for nuts to cover them. Small and big, but I'm not interested in these right now. I'm interested in these. Check this out. So, uh, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Ah, like this. We have these holes here, especially these. I could put a screw in there, but then, well, that's not the correct, correct way, I guess. Let's take one of these and try to put him there. Yeah, well. That works. Nice. Yeah, I love that. How it turns out, I have no idea. I have to rub them, this whole thing with alcohol. Two. Oh, here are more holes. Like this. Uh, I'm not sure. I am not sure if that's a good idea, but yeah, we will see. Looks good. Good enough for me. Well, 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 well. All right. That one gets rubbed down when we are painting before. So here is the color. It's a Rahl 9500 in matt. And we will have a look. Oh, well, I maybe shake it before. thinner and this is some hardener special it says that's what we need we need some of these and see We'll not do that right now because we have to do some other things before. Let's clean this and get ready for painting. 
painting, painting, painting. So, silicone remover, which we need. Take away all the fats. Yes, yes, yes it is. So we have to put, well I think 100 milliliters would be all right, I guess. And we have to pour it through this in there. Put it on. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Gotta have some paper towels. No, let's do this. One hundred milliliters. Short explore. Take the camera, show you. So it's almost at 100, a bit more, I guess. So now we need, it says here, 100 milliliters of uh, the paint, 50% of that is cure, cure, and then we need to have some uh, thinner, paint thinner, but before I do that, I found some chopsticks. Let's mix it with that. At this point, I put my mask on to not inhale all the fumes which are coming out of that because they are very, wow. Yeah, good stuff. Let's say it like this. And also, unfortunately, my camera gear uh, died before I could film when I put the paint thinner in there. Nevertheless, let's get right into painting. After this, I put everything together, put it in the uh, spray pistol and we can paint now. I really want to try it first.
Well, to make a long story short, it was a, a bit of a process to learn how to do that and to figure out how this, the paint gun works. And in the end, I got there, but it took me, I don't know, an hour or two to finally find out how much spray I need and uh, whatnot. As you see on the paper, on the newspaper there, there is not so much overspray, so not so much paint is coming out of the nozzle. And I needed to adjust that, I needed to know how I press and all of that. It was a learning experience for that. But I leave you with a cliffhanger like Top Gear does. So in the next episode, we will look at the results I had and uh, hope you join me for that. Thank you for watching and I wish you all the best. Tune in, do not forget to subscribe, comment or whatever if you feel like it. If you think that's an absolute thumbs down, do that. No problem with that. Thank you for watching. Bye bye.